Okay, so this is video number nine of the series. We're gonna talk about Yabai and how to set your terminal and other apps transparent. We're gonna cover why I use Yabai. We're gonna set the macOS background. We're gonna see what zip is in macOS and why we need to disable it. We're gonna see how to disable it. Install, configure the script in addition, Yabai settings, and some other thing that I cannot fix here. So if you're able to figure out, please let me know in the comments. So why do I use Yabai? If I open my apps, they're usually all over the place, as you can see here. It's not organized. Even if I use this thing in macOS, it's it's nice for me to be able to see my windows, but I still have a mess here. If you want to read more on the reasons, you can go to this page, and I'm going to leave the reasons there. But basically, I like to keep one app on the screen at a time. That allows me to stay focused on what I'm doing and I don't get distracted by anything else in the background. I don't use multiple monitors. Why? Because if I need to switch to my laptop and work outside, I'm not going to have an external monitor and I want to be as fast on the laptop as I am in my desktop computer. Working with a single monitor allows me to be as fast no matter what computer I'm using. Some tips, use command tab a lot. Don't switch only using the carabiner mappings that we said in the carabiner video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch that video. For example, if you're taking notes from YouTube into Obsidian, let me open them right now. Let's say that I'm watching a YouTube video and I'm taking notes in here. Don't be using the mappings. Instead of that, use command tab to switch between the two apps. Another tip that I have is to use the command whatever this is that is the key that is above the tab key and i use that to switch between instances of the same tab if i have two instances of youtube open i can switch between them with command tilde whatever that key is or if i have two instances of my terminal let me make this bigger i like switching between them using the same key so whenever you can, use those two keys, command tab and command tilde a lot. And if you need to navigate to a new app, of course, you use the mappings. If I need to go to my terminal, then back to Obsidian and back to Safari, of course, I use the carabiner mappings there because I get to where I want really fast. So in case you need to reference the Yabai documentation, here's the change log. And here you can also find the ASCII doc. We're going to configure the background image because once we enable transparency, the desktop image is what's going to be shown on the terminal. I'm going to use this one. I left it there as a reference. Let me open it. Let me download it. Okay, so now that I set that as my desktop background, I don't like to keep anything on the desktop, so I'm going to change that in Finder. I go to Settings, General, and uncheck all of these, and that's it. Going back to the page, I also like to auto hide the dock because I don't use it. I know the mappings for each one of my apps. I'm just gonna do that right now. and make this bigger. So what is system integrity protection in Mac OS and why we need to disable it? Yabai, which is the window manager that we're gonna use, needs to have this partially disabled. You can read more here. We need to disable it to enable the window transparency, remove window shadows, enable window animations, and some other things that the window manager needs to do. So before we continue, we're going to disable tip this is optional. You don't have to do it. If you don't do it, the manager is still going to work fine. Yabai is going to manage your windows, but they will not be transparent. So I'm using Sonoma at the moment, and this is an M1 Mac Mini. Here are the steps to disable SIP on my computer. But if you're in a different machine or version of Mac OS, go to this link and you'll find the instructions there. So turn off the computer, turn it back on, but leave the power button pressed until you see this option. Then 
at the top, you will go to utilities terminal and you have to type this command. Make sure you type it in correctly. It's going to show you a message about an unsupported configuration. So you just type Y, then type reboot to restart the machine. Then you turn the machine back on in normal mode. You don't need to click the button press and open your terminal and run this command. This is because I'm using an M1 or Apple Silicon machine. After you enter this command, you need to reboot again. Then once you have done that, you can check if system integrity protection is turned off by running this command. Let me show you that right now. I'm gonna close out of here. I'm gonna close out of here as well. So here you can see what we disabled, which is file system, which was related to this FS debug and NVRAM. FS debug and VRAM. Put art is what we did here. Afterwards, notice it says that this is an unsupported configuration likely to break in the future and leave your machine in an unknown state. Something that you need to keep in mind. I have been using this for quite some time now and I haven't had any issues, but it's up to you. So after we have done that, we need to install Yabai. Let's run this in our terminal. It's going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause and see you when it's done. Okay, so Yabai is installed. It gives you some caveats here at the bottom. It gives you some instructions of things that you have to do. We're going to cover that in my guide. Run this command to start the service and enable it to run every time you reboot your machine. Click on open system settings here and enable this. It's going to ask you for your password, so type it in. I'm going to close this. Let's go back to the page. Now we need to configure the script in addition. The instructions are here. We need to do this so that Yabai can modify the doc app. But all you need to do is run this script that I have in my dot files. If you are following the videos in this series, we already cloned my dot files on video number four. So if you haven't done that, go and do that right now. So you can run this script. Let me show you the script real quick. Here's Yabai. And here's the script in addition. This is the script that I created. And this script basically adds this file, Yabai, to your sudoers.d directory and grabs this information. Okay, so you don't need to modify anything. It's just going to get all the values that it needs, create the file, apply the necessary permissions, restart your buy. So let's do that right now. Gonna close out of here, run the command, type your password in. Notice these two pop-ups on the top. You can dismiss them. Just click allow there and I'll dismiss this. Every time that you update Yabai to the latest version, the executable is going to change. So you need to rerun the script. So if you do a brute update, you need to rerun this command again. So if you notice that transparency stopped working even after you restart your computer, run this because that's probably the reason. Notice that we can see the image on the background right now because the transparency effect is already working. I have it enabled only for a few apps. Notice that if I go back to my browser, I don't see that transparency only when I'm in my terminal. So let me go over the settings in the Yabai file so you can see how I did this. Let me open Neovim. Let's go to the Yabai RC file. This is the Yabai configuration file. This command loads the scripting addition. And here are the settings. I commented these out because this is when I use my 55 inch TV. I wanted to use only a portion of the screen. I don't need that right now because I have a small monitor nowadays. So I commented these, but in case you find them useful, in case you want to add paddings, let me show you what, what I mean by this. I'm going to uncomment those lines. 
data changes. Going to restart Yabai. This is the command to restart it. Let me switch to another window. Let's switch back. Now you can see transparency is back on. Notice the padding on the corners. You can increase the padding if you want to. Let's give that a try. Let's restart the service. I'm going to switch to another app and switch back. Notice that the padding is bigger now. I don't like to keep it enabled, so I'm going to disable it. I'm going to comment these lines again. Restart the service. I'm back to where I was. Okay, so this is how I enable transparency. At the moment, I have it configured only for Spotify and Alacrity. If I open Spotify, you're going to see that it's transparent as well. The rest of my apps, if I go to Obsidian or Chrome, none of them are transparent. So you can add more apps here. For example, if you would like to make YouTube transparent, let me grab the name, YouTube with capital T. Let me add it there. Let me restart your buy. And as you can tell, it is now transparent. You can see here the desktop image in the background. I don't like YouTube being transparent, but it's up to you. I'm going to switch it back. Save the file. Restart the service. Open YouTube again. It's back to normal. What this does is that it makes these apps in the list, gives them 85% opacity. And all the other apps in the background, it makes them really transparent. So they're there in the background, but they're so transparent that you cannot see them, basically. And if it's not one of the apps that we listed above, if you focus one of them, it resets the active and the normal window opacity to one. So it does not make those transparent. If you want to have the always on top or appear on top effect, you can do that by adding other apps here. They're always going to show on top. If, for example, you want your calculator to always show in your screen, you can do that. Just make sure that if the app was closed and you opened it, you have to restart your buy for the changes to take effect. Let me show you what I mean. Let me apply the settings. I save the file. I'm going to restart your buy. Calculator is there. Let me switch to another app. Doesn't matter where I go. The app is always going to be on top. Let me switch that back. Restart your buy. What else do we have here? There are some apps that I exclude from window management. So you can resize them and move them around like the calculator and some other ones. If, for example, I try to move Alacrity, I can't because Yabai is managing that window and is always going to send it back to the original position and occupy the entire screen. The only ones that are not being managed by Yabai are the ones added here. So you can modify that list to your liking. Okay, some important Yabai settings. What allows me to do this is this layout, which is DAC. There are different layouts. There is BSP and other modes that you can use with Yabai, which is going to partition your screen into different sections. I don't like that. I don't like having more than one app on the screen. This is something that I'm not able to figure out. So if someone knows how to do it, please let me know. So if I'm on any browser, Safari, Chrome, YouTube, and I do a search, I'm going to look for Yabai settings. If I go back to my terminal, I see this on the background and I don't know how to get rid of it. 
Also, if I hover over a link, I'm in Chrome right now. You notice this bar at the bottom is because I'm here. And if I switch back, I see that link in the background and I'm not sure how to get rid of it as well. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about what Alacrity is and the settings that I use. So I'll see you there.